Hey folks, BC7 here. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013. In more realistic mode, in hard mode, and in Iron Horse Farm version 2 mode, of course. A little bit of a cloudy day up there, although it looks to be sunny according to the weather forecast. Hmm. I think they ought to look out their window one more time before they post that sort of thing. So we can take our speed up a little bit here. Nice. So yeah, I'm still working on getting this last field harvested. I hope you all got to have a look at the Farming World video that I posted. It was, uh, it looks like it may turn out to be a reasonable, um, a reasonable remake of the old Farming Giant series, which is cool because that was a game that I enjoyed. It had its share of bugs, but, uh, well, I guess that just makes it even more like the current game that we had to look at, because it has its share of bugs, too. It not only crashed on me, but I've seen some other Let's Plays on YouTube, or reviews of it, or what have you, and people have had various little issues. Tutorials not working properly, or crashing, or yike, I didn't really want to fall down in that ditch. This is where I'm probably going to lay another round of uh, sod down around the edge of this field, just to give me a little more room to... Oh, and we're full. A little more room to drag these big big butts of these harvesters around because they uh, do take up the space. Now, somewhere around here I should even have a tractor that would be... There he is. More than happy to empty me out. Yes. Not exactly the tractor I want for the job, but... It's been doing a reasonable one of it so far, so let's keep on with that. What else we got up to? Well, we did get uh, another map review up. I did the Canada version 3 map. And I may have, in a moment of, I shouldn't have had that last cup of coffee-ness, said something like, well, I'm probably going to end up doing a Let's Play of this map. No, what I meant is, is I use that as a test map, because I can run pretty much any size equipment on it. I don't really plan on doing a Let's Play of it. Um, I think we'll be sticking pretty much to this farm, and this farm alone, unless, of course, uh, Steve Buddy there happens to pop out of the woodwork with a, a new map for us, or, you know, something even a fraction as close as to brilliance as Glenn Malure was. So I think our uh, lovely as it is, our little Mercedes-Benz tractor here seems to be struggling a little bit with this particular load. That's okay. It's uh, under 10 ton, but it's still a bit of a load, I guess. And I should probably be using one of the heftier tractors for this job. He just happened to be near the trailer at the time that I required a tractor to haul it. So. Through the big muck puddle. Baloosh. There we go. Now I think I will park this guy up and grab a slightly different one. And we are going to square bale that field when all is said and done. And then, uh, I'm one of the new Rambo bale stacker dealies to, uh, try out. That should be pretty cool. They pick up, I think, six bale at a time or something in a flat stack. Makes it really nice for putting it on a trailer or uh, into a shed, for that matter. I get a feeling I dragged that trailer all along the side of that bridge wall, but we didn't look, so it didn't happen. <laughs> and that's my story. All right. Get ourselves... You, you can stop now. A little bit more grain going on. Do -do -do -do, dump it in there. Lovely. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do here... Swing a little 
wider so I don't drag them all the way across the rail this time. And up around the front, and I think I'm going to drop it off and go fetch you a heftier tractor for this job. Give this guy a break. Uh, that should be, yeah. There you go. Uh, did I just detach the front end? Yes, I did. <laughs> I think I noticed it flopping around on the ground there. There we go. <laughs> uh, gotta have a fail. What else we got going on? Uh, not a heck of a lot. Instead, the Canada map is kind of nice. If you want to run a map that'll handle all the big stuff and play with the uh, the great big tractors and harvesters and all of that sort of thing, it's a really good map for it. I don't have an issue with the map. It seems to work as advertised. Um, I mean, it is Westbridge Hills, right? So shouldn't have expected that it would have come up any less. There we go. All tucked away nice. And you can stop now. Quit drifting. Quit drifting. Uh -huh. Let's just get right out of you. You still gonna drift? No, there we go. Everything's just fine now. Uh, is that still... That's another 900. What do we got here? Is this the bigger... Yeah, it is. Okay. Who else is here? <laughs> I think this vent might even have a little more power. But what the heck, let's go for the big fan. Nice. Can't say as I think much of the view. So let's try that. Beautiful. That's a little better. That works. Yes, indeed, that works. Throw him onto that trailer, and I think that'll be more than capable of pulling not only this trailer. This trailer is kind of on the heavy side, though. Um, oddly enough, like I have noticed that even in the Glen Malure Let's Play, I had this little trailer and uh, a little Lambo uh, front loader. Not a very powerful tractor. It really struggled with this, but it could actually pull a larger load in the. Uh, the name of that trailer, the Gilbert. Yeah, can actually pull a larger load than the Gilbert, so I thought that was kind of cool. There we go. Just want to make sure that's off the ground. No, oh, yeah, don't even notice this trailer is behind it. Of course, it is empty. So, I hope wherever all of you live, you're having as amazing a beginning to May as we are here on the. Uh, west coast of British Columbia, Canada. I was actually out pretty much all day yesterday in a t-shirt. So it was that warm. It got into the... Uh, I don't know why I came here. <laughs> it actually, where am I supposed to go? It went into the uh, mid-twenties. Which is uh, pretty darn toasty for this time of year. Is that where we're playing over there? Okie dokie. How do I get out of here? Let me out! I'm, there must have been a door here in the wall when I came in. There we go. Now, I think we're at field 9 now. Are you the entrance to the field? I'm so lost. So I think we finished 3 last time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I forgot that about this tractor. It's one of those ones that if you let it, it will go seriously awry. So, <laughs> yeah. You can start a hard turn and go to turn back and realize that, no, you're pretty much committed until this one's done. Okay. But she is a good, strong tractor. There we go, look at that. We will park her up here. You can all set your sick bags down on your seats again. 
Oh my, I left this thing running? Well, that can't be too good on the old fuel bills, I'll tell you. No, sir. No, sir. So, I don't think that um, the far sky, which is that uh, ocean survival one, is really uh, attracting much attention. I don't get much in the way of use, so I may make that a very short let's play indeed. Although granted it is still early access and there's probably not a lot. It is kind of interesting as a hands-on experience. How it actually comes off as an LP, I don't know. Apparently not that great. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. 80%, I love it. I wonder why I didn't bother to finish the road the last time. It's kind of weird. Well, let's say about the old waste not what not bit. Do -do -do -do. Suck it up. Spray it out. Yeah, I definitely gotta run a little bit of a border. In version one of this map, that probably would not have been necessary. The fields had a little a bit more. Little bit. It's the critical. More wiggle room at each end. Probably about as much space as they do with the single pass that I have around it. But then when you actually add the single pass, you have enough room to turn your harvester. Which is fine. I don't mind having to cut a headland each time before I start. I'm not doing a lot of automated on this particular map anyway. So. And not to worry guys, we are almost at a stage where we can get past this simple field work and start getting a little bit of the animals and those sort of things under control, which is always a nice part, at least I enjoy it. Other things, uh, well they have a firm release date for American Truck, the uh, uh, sequel, if you will, to uh, Euro Truck 2 by SCS Software. Kind of looking forward to that. I do actually play Euro Truck. I've never done a Let's Play or anything else. Um, they do draw a lot of attention from a lot of circles, but then so do Minecraft games, and uh, mine certainly don't draw attention. So I don't know if you guys would be interested in me uh, doing a bit of uh, Euro Truck. Huh? I suppose I could do an episode or two here or there. It is, for a driving simulator, probably one of the best. And for a management type simulator, it's not bad either. You know, because you do have to uh, get a company up and running and all of those things that go along with it. Well, I can't actually get out of here until that pipe's all the way out, can I? And this one doesn't allow you the sort of view to know where your pipe is. So I'm going to assume it's out. Are you out? You're good. Now well, we can go fetch our big moogie tractor here. So yeah, I don't know, I may just uh, wait until the 23rd of August. I have uh, already pre-ordered a copy of it. And then instead of doing Euro, I may uh, do the California. Although, quite frankly, I'd like driving Euro trucks. The nice short snouts, and they may feel like they have. Oh, did you just fill my bucket? You did, you booger. Why did you fill my bucket? I didn't want you to fill my bucket. <laughs> oh, well, actually, hey, I guess I can give that to the chickens, eh? Probably enough to feed them for about eight months in my bucket. Even though I think it was less than 1%. Not ready. He's not even going to notice this. This amount of weight, I don't think. There we go. Yeah, no problem at all. Just zoom and away he goes. So I'm just curious how much did we actually end up with of that. Oh, 2%. We got 51 wheat in there. <laughs> Nice, nice. 
Alrighty, come on, dude. You're almost done. Almost. instrument there is kind of in the way of where you really want to be looking at the edge of that header but now nah, we're close enough so far we've been doing a passable job at any rate again I do like the uh, do you like the little animation that he does that, that's pretty sharp pretty sharp indeed not drive too fast. <laughs> uh, well, if I want to. Don't fall down the hole. There you go. Zoom on, man. You're almost done. I suppose I could have pulled that tractor over another six or eight inches. It wouldn't have hurt me. <laughs> oh, well. Eh, we probably don't need our map on. Wheat storage, how are we doing for this stuff? I think not bad. Oops, started to drift a little. Not bad, 22,000, eh? Cool. I can handle that. I can, I can, I can. Alright, now, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, don't worry about it. I did install that HUD Hider mod. I thought that was uh, kind of a nice little thing to have, you know? And if you are doing an in-cab view, you can uh, make it even more immersive. However, it doesn't hide the inspector bot, so you are still sort of... Uh, you can turn that off, of course. But uh, just so you know, so if you do get the, uh, the HUD hider mod, and I believe it's, what, Shift H, is it? No, I think I just hired me a worker. <laughs> uh huh. Alrighty. Let's uh, carry on. It would be Alt H. There we go. There's your HUD hider. But as I said, it does indeed um, still allow the inspector mod to show you what's going on. I like it. So, pipe out, dude. And, I think I'm actually going to do it this way. And actually bring him back, empty him out, and then we can drive him. Can we drive him up? Are we at that stage? I don't think I planted all three of the. No. The only reason I own that third field was because we tried to plant apple trees in it. Oh, there's a little bit more grain in the old bucket. <laughs> That's lovely. Oh, you're going to take it all you are. Perfect. Okay. Nice field. Nice. this way, I think it'll be a little quicker for us. Alright, good deal. That is all harvested. I like it. Bumpity bump. And again. Yep, I do like this map. It has some really nice features. A little bit of blooded out sort of lowlands is kind of a neat thing. I still haven't picked this trailer up. It's been sitting here since pretty much when I started the game. And, uh, ooh, great demand for barley. It's too bad we've been planting wheat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Easy come, easy go. So, um... We do have that big problem, this harvester doesn't really fit into the yard all that well, so I think we'll park them up over here.
perfect. That's absolutely exactly where I would have left it. <laughs> okay, now let's find our way. I know, isn't that terrible, that whole tabbing thing? <laughs> find our way over to this guy. Let's take him in, add him to the crop. And then I think it'll be time to start some bailing. But I think we'll do up the bailing on the next episode, because that's really going to do her for this one. So, until we do get there, hmm, I wonder, do I dump a little bit of this over for piggies? No, I don't think you want to get started with all of that right now. So, yeah. Until next time, guys, this has been Species 7. Sure, hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you enjoyed the other series that I'm running, too. And until we meet again, as always, take care of each other. Uh, ciao for now. <laughs>